this project was called Synchronia Sonora and it was about working with the Kashimbo indigenous community about creating sound recordings of their everyday life practices. So we're working with members of the community in creating sound recordings of everyday things like the, the rituals that they take part in, attending to their animals, uh, building their, their homes uh, and so on. Uh, there were kind of two reasons for doing that, uh, partly purely uh, an artistic and creative practice. We really hoped we were going to create some, some very beautiful sound recordings that people were really going to enjoy in a gallery space uh, such as this. But also we went beyond that. Uh, we hoped that by uh, co-creating these sound recordings and sharing them with other people, it would be a way of creating shared understandings of, of what life is like um, in that community. Could we, through auditory experience, uh, really create ways in which other people could access and, and, and understand life within the Kishimbo uh, community? Oh, there is a visual sound, yes, of course, that's, that's one of the, that is the main uh, media that I work with, but that's also an important part of Tom's work. Uh, and the reasoning behind it is that, whereas when you're dealing with images, be them printed or on the screen, there's always this sense of distance between the observer and what is being given to the picture, we wanted to have more of an immersive experience to try to bring that reality to the viewer, in this case to the listener, so it feels a lot more immersive and it feels almost as if you're into uh, the space uh, yourself. So for that we used a couple of uh, uh, recording techniques, one of them being binaural recordings, which are stereo with the microphones on your ears and you create this very rich uh, experience and also ambisonic recording which gets a 3D image that we complemented with what you can see here, which is a recording, it's a 360 recording. So we have the material that you can navigate up, down, through different axes and take a uh, viewing of uh, the area. Now, to be fair, the images are working as a support to the audio in this case, so the images are secondary. We really, really focus on the auditory experience because of the nature of the media and our objectives to bridge uh, uh, the two lived experiences, both ours and theirs. So during this week-long uh, project, we wanted to be able to construct and build uh, an experience together with uh, the main boy.